On day 10 of protest in Louisville, demanding justice for Breonna Taylor, David McAtee, and other African Americans across the country who have been killed by law enforcement, a Louisville mother wanted to make a stand. I felt like I needed to do something, but I didn't feel like I alone could really do anything. Phyllis Williams is the lead organizer for the Louisville Mothers March. Hundreds of mothers came out Saturday afternoon in the Nulu area for the same goal. We are mothers. We have hearts. We've given birth to these kids. We love them. And we're not just going to let you shoot our kids down in the street like they're animals. Enough is enough. They all marched to the Hall of Justice, where many mothers spoke out on the injustices in the community. A few hours later, near the waterfront, a different protest was forming. Put a fist in there right now for Breonna Taylor, if you could, one time. Look at that unity right there. Also taking part, rapper Jack Harlow, singer Bryson Tiller, NBA All-Star player D'Angelo Russell, and NFL guard Jamon Brown, all Louisville natives. This is so shocking that it's 2020 and we're still fighting for this same issue. It makes no sense whatsoever. Everybody here is together for one reason only, and we want justice. We want justice for everybody. In a silent walk to honor George Floyd, hundreds marched to Metro Hall to join other groups marching for justice. It was where a balloon release took place to honor Breonna Taylor's life. Thousands packed downtown Louisville as Taylor's family, Reverend Jesse Jackson, and even Muhammad Ali's family members gave messages of hope. My spirit is uplifted in that we came together to honor her and celebrate her. Thousands of people, the whole world with its eyes on Louisville.